In front of me is Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra and today I would like to show you how you can set up an alarm clock. You need to begin by launching clock and tapping on alarm at the bottom left corner. Then tap on this plus next to three dots at the top right one of this section. And adjust your alarm however you want to. At the top set up an hour. Then click days of the week you wish to set up and name it. Now tap on all of those switches next to all of those features to switch them off or on. And if you decided to enable them you can adjust each one by clicking on it on the left. Let's start with alarm sound. At the bottom adjust volume and then pick one of those sound sources. You can log in to your Spotify or click on this option here. Select continue and use this instead. If you want to hit ringtone though you need to tap on it, choose allow and to pick one of those ringtones tap on the best one and go back. If you want to add your own, use this plus at the top right corner. Decide if you wish to play selected highlights thanks to this switcher. Click on your song and hit done at the top right corner. If you wish to, you can also adjust those two options by clicking on the switchers next to them. When you finished, go back. Tap on vibration to pick one of those options, synchronize with ringtone, silence or one of those patterns and adjust intensity of your vibration pattern thanks to this slider. Go back, hit snooze, decide how many minutes it will take and how many times it will repeat. Go back. Hit alarm background, hit background at the top left corner and tap on allow all or allow limited access. Now, to use one of those backgrounds, just click on the chosen one and hit done. If you want to make a custom one, choose background, select any photo from your gallery, hit done. And as you can see mine was successfully added. Now to save your new alarm hit save at the bottom right corner. As you can see mine was successfully created. To make some changes click on it, change whatever you want to and hit save. Then to switch it on or off use this switcher next to it. And lastly to delete it completely, hold it and tap on delete at the bottom right corner. Thanks so much for watching, if you enjoyed this video leave a like, comment and subscribe. Bye!